Hey, what's up, y'all? Rick coming at you. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Today we got some more F1 action coming at you. We're continuing our F1 career with Scuderia Alfatari. We got our teammate Pierre Gasly. Uh, had a couple struggles in our last race. If you watched that video, we had a little run-in with our buddy Daniel Ricardo. He didn't leave the space. You must always leave the space. Um, so anyways, I'm pretty sure, I think our rival is Esteban Ocon in the game, but right now my rival was Daniel Ricardo. So our goal is to send him packing. Um, he's going to get sent packing the end of this year anyways because uh, McLaren signed somebody else, uh, Piastri, and I think he's, I don't know if he's just going to have to retire, if he's going to land somewhere, if Williams is going to sign him. Or something like that. But anyways, uh, let's get into this. I'm going to start us off with the qualifying. Qualifying lap. We are here in Spain for this race. Um, I kind of like this track. It's a love-hate relationship with this track. I like it. I know it. I've played it a lot. Sometimes I struggle with it with certain sections, um, especially in the last sector. So here we go at Spain. Let's get our qualifying lap going. See if we can't get us... A start inside the top 10 is the goal. And here we go with a qualifying lap. Coming into turn one, a little slow there. I'm a little jacked up because most of practice was in the rain. So, kind of had to take it a little easier than normal. Just got to get my gears dialed in. I play this track a lot on a set of course of competition, but not a lot on F1, so whatever gear I need to be in on certain parts of the track in the corner, I'm not 100% comfortable with because Obviously, the GT3 cars are different than the Formula 1 cars. This is the part that always gets me right here. I always lose time right there in that chicane. All right, so we are way behind here. Not to make any excuses, but practice kind of messed me up with the rain. Let's see what we're finishing at. We'll see what we're qualifying at. Here we go, here we go. Where are we at? I'm going to guess 10. Qualifying finished. It's time 12. to remind Ooh. ourselves of Goodness. our top three. Verstappen, Bottas, and Sergio Perez. Well, Verstappen's on the pole, well, as always. qualifying, but don't worry. We'll be back tomorrow as we head into the Grand Prix. Okay, so let's advance to the Grand Prix. Coming at you, I appreciate y'all for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Say whatever you want. Yes, the Esteban Ocon, Ocon technically is our rival here. But as far as I'm concerned, it's Daniel Ricciardo. Seems like we've been racing around him for the first couple races. And then last race, he turned in on us. He didn't leave a space. We were about to make the pass on the inside. And he just came down on us and pretty much wrecked us out. I think we ended up finishing uh, 15th or 14th or something like that. <laughs> Weren't dead last because... Lance Stroll had a DNF, so I don't know what happened to him. So we were running after that incident on lap seven. It's not quite where we were, we're running, running next grid, to last. But chin up, it's not the end of the world. Sorry, we're in 12th. I mean, we're Alpha Tori for crying out loud. All right, so let's get into this race. Spain, let's get this going. Like I said, it's a love hate relationship with this track. I know it, I've played, a, played it a lot. Played it mostly on Assetto Corpa Competition. Those are GT3 the cars, though. Grand Prix has been a permanent fixture on the Formula One calendar for over. All right, here we are. It's time to take a look at our starting. We don't even know the start grid. We know where we're at. Twelfth. So we've got a race strategy here. It's got us pitting a lap six. I don't like that. I think we're gonna pit. Um. 
see. Are we going soft, 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 medium? I think we're going to, let's try halfway through would be about lap eight or nine. We'll try to go eight laps on here. We're just going to go with the default strategy. And let's get this race going. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Here we go. Lights on. And lights out. Decent start there. It's the Ocon getting in the way. Past him. Coming to the forever sketchy first turn of an F1 race. It's usually where 99% of the action happens. We can see if we can't make a couple of spots here in the, right in the beginning. Because once the field gets strung out, Okay, here we go. There's our old buddy, Daniel Ricardo. We're going to be all over his ass. Most of this race, I think. Getting sketchy there. We're coming to the hairpin. Getting into Daniel Ricardo. Gives us some time. Always lose time right there. Always. Okay, so we are up to P11. Started P12. First lap was decent. Pretty good first lap for us. Can't catch up there to Daniel Ricardo. Squirrely. A little overzealous. I struggled with that section so bad in practice. Because it was raining. So easy to get your rear end loose there. I just lose so much time right there. Just, I don't know. DRS is they can get on the gas so can much earlier DRS than we can. You are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. So we got DRS to Daniel Ricardo. We can just hold it together. We're making up a little bit of time on him. A little wide there. Wide there too. Late on the braking. Where's our teammate at? He must have moved up quite a bit on the start. I think he was starting P8. If we're going to get Daniel Ricardo, that's going to be a spot we get him right there. <laughs> Brilliant. Nice move. Got him. Okay, Dale, the ninth. We're approaching the pit. We're up to tenth. Sorry. We'll be on the mediums. Oh, I'm not pitting on lap six. I don't think. I think 
Nothing's going to happen. Not going to happen. I think I'm going to try to wait till lap eight. All right, so we're maintaining here. About half a second over Daniel Ricardo. Let's get you out of there again. I just, I can't make up enough time there. <clears throat> okay, you're in the top 10. Or just lose too much time there. But that little chicane, it's tricky. The car behind is dropping back by about three tenths a lap. Front is 2.1 seconds. Get wide there. Jeez. God, Daniel Ricardo, you fuck. Giving up spots. Man, it's going to be hard to get that back, too. It's pulling away from us. I don't know if that's because my tires are going or his tires are coming in. It's just there's I don't know. No! What happened? Oh, dude. So little margin for error. Jeez. I'm not doing a flashback. Look at that, dude. I was doing so good. So good. Oh, we got to retire. Thems are the brakes. Gosh, man, another freaking wreck, dude. You got to be kidding me. Look, there he goes, pissed. Pissed, dude. That was our own fault again. What else is new? Another Spanish Grand Prix is over. Mercedes wins. Let's see if I may do some interviews here. And I can see the drivers. Come on, come on, let's go. Well, there we go. Another DNF for the AlphaTauri team. The rookie. Our championship leader Driving is like still a sat at the top of the standings. Teammate finished the seventh. rivals have made up some solid ground today. Yeah, about some amazing Botos. talent out He's on the track today. But Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? Lance Stroll certainly put in an impressive performance today. No doubt his team and fans are extremely proud. It's time to... Let's check out the replay. Let that I pass Ricardo. Lap three. Yeah, ahead of lap three. Here it comes. We go getting wide a little bit. We're out behind Ricardo. 
Brakes glowing. Locking up the brakes here a little bit. Got to be coming to the pass here soon. Oh yeah, here it is. Well, maybe not. Where in the world did I pass him at? Oh yeah, it was at the very end, wasn't it? Here he comes. Got him. Let's run that back. Change the camera here. I like that camera. spun out. What in the world is going on with this replay? There we go. All right, so we've already gotten passed by him. Yep, there we go. Got loose, man. Just got over there on the apron and bam. grass actually didn't we that ain't good look at that tire Tire's not supposed to be there. All right, whatever. Anywho, there we go with our DNF, putting ourselves into the wall. We didn't need any help from Daniel Ricardo, even though we had moved up two spots. Uh, we were doing okay. Like I said, uh, Spain, Barcelona, it's a love-hate relationship with that track. Maybe I should have practiced it a little more since I've been playing so much. I said, of course, a competition on that track. Yeah, yeah. Let's see where we're going to be at for the next round. I appreciate y'all for watching. Hit that like button if you like the content. Drop me a comment. Say whatever you want to. If you got some games that you want to see me start playing or any, have any suggestions about the content, let me know, drop me a comment. See, we're gonna be at round five. Looks like we're going to Monaco next. I do not like Monaco at all. But anyways, I appreciate y'all for tuning in.
Racer Rick, peace.